in the creative process, problem finding is the first step. Innovation begins with discovering good problems, meaning problems that your customers have that they may not even know they have, but discovering it, and that becomes your ticket to a solution which becomes a new product or service. So when I went to Japan on my first sabbatical, I had a chance to um, converse and interview the um, Toshiba R&D people. And we talked about how they do R&D and maybe how people in the, say, West uh, do R&D. And it was pretty similar except for one thing. They said, uh, we, like you, hire new scientists and e engineers every year for R&D. But unlike you, we don't let them into R&D for two years. We put them into a very, very different part of the company to begin their careers. So I said, I uh, wonder what that would be. And they said, sales. We put them into, now can you imagine? A PhD engineer science, and he's into sales. Why? Without a word of anything. We want them to learn the problems of the customer. They said, innovation starts with discovering problems that your customers have, and then when you solve them, they're new products. We don't want them coming in here thinking that we're gonna hand them problems to solve. They've gotta to learn that innovation starts with discovering problems. And that's such a critical thing, and it's something that every organization should be doing. So when sales is out there, what they could be doing a whole lot of is uh, rather than just pushing products, they could be uh, listening for problems their customers might have that they could transmit to the innovation group who might end up um, uh, coming up with solutions. Or is there a way we could get the innovation group with the customer to start asking questions and doing problem solving together to elicit new problems from the customer? but the customer is the key. And when you've got your customer involved, it makes life easy. Rather than trying to figure out what to push up there, your customer is sucking you in toward them by telling you things that they need. And that's a very big switch these days. And we're uh, doing quite a bit of work with interesting companies who are finding that out. They've been experts for such a long time, but if they're gonna grow in a moving market or changing market, They've got to learn how to listen real well and draw out problems rather than pushing them on people.